Welcome to NC Spend Perspectives, opinions from thought leaders across our state. We're delighted to be able to get perspectives from Superintendent of Public Instruction, June Atkinson. We could spend a lot of time talking about the hot button issues in public education. Uh, obviously, one of the more controversial subjects uh, that came up during this legislative session was Common Core. All right, so the legislature did away with the Common Core standards, and they established this committee that's going to consider new standards. They say are going to be just as rigorous as Common Core. Um, one of the benefits we saw to Common Core was that uh, th through that and through the testing, we were able to gauge how our students were doing vis-a-vis -vis students in other states. Uh, do you think there's going to be any way of doing that with these new standards that are trying to be, they're going to set? Well, in 2010 and 11, the General Assembly unanimously uh, approved legislation that said that we would be a part of the Common Core effort. And at that time, there was the notion that we need to compare how our students are doing with other uh, students in other states. Without having the same standards, you cannot compare. Uh, example, I may as a third grade teacher teach the capitals of uh, European countries. Uh, if I take a test off the shelf, my third grade students may be tested on the capitals of the United States. So if you do not have the same standards, you cannot use tests that are comparable across the United States. Kind of an apples and oranges comparison. Absolutely. And it doesn't mean that our students are not learning. It just means that the test may not match the standards. And one of the reasons why I have been so much in favor of the standards is that they are more challenging for our students. They require our students to think, think and to, <laughs> yes, that's really important. <laughs> and to make good decisions and to apply what they're learning. And I am so dismayed that so much have been piled on the Common Core standards when they really don't, aren't a part of the Common Core standards. The standards just say what students should know and be able to do as a result of being in school. Junior, you don't look it, but you've been hanging around education for a <laughs> few years now. Yes, I have. <laughs> it seems like that every time we turn around, we're, we're starting a new initiative, a new program. We're going into Common Core. No, we're going to ditch Common Core. We're going to start something new. How in the world can we expect people in education to ever achieve any kind of consistency if, we're to, if, if our lawmakers and if the public is changing so constantly what's going on? I, I know there are changes in education, particularly as it relates to technology, but this just seems like we're constantly moving the target. Well, one of the reasons why the State Board of Education and all the people who said, let's go to the Common Core, uh, was to have some stability. Now, this, this year will be our third full year of using the standards in English language arts and mathematics. Our teachers have worked over the past three years to get their lesson plans aligned, to get materials that can, they can use in the classroom. And we have spent $66 million dollars uh, from federal funds to do professional development for teachers. Uh, 44 million spent by local school districts from federal funds and 22 million from race state of the race yeah. of the top. And so our teachers have just become comfortable with using these standards. Uh, I just wish that everybody could have an opportunity to go to a class where you are seeing quality instruction taking place in mathematics. Uh, and in English language arts. It is, it is very gratifying to see how our teachers are uh, having more challenging projects, more challenging work, and all of that really will pay off for the students as well as North Carolina. This may not be a fair question because I, I recognize you're sitting sort of in a precarious position here, but do you have any confidence that this new committee that's been formed they say they're going to have standards that are every bit as rigorous as Common Core. How are they going to do, I mean, do you have any confidence in this? Well, they, the committee has not been appointed, but I have faith in the State Board of Education. Uh, the legislation requires this commission or committee to make recommendations to the State Board of Education. And in keeping with our North Carolina Constitution, the State Board of Education will have the ultimate decision as to whether standards are changed. The State Board of Education has had in place for a long time a five-year cycle of reviewing of standards. So we will have the fourth year 
coming up soon. And during that year, we would have already started the process of seeing where do we need to make some tweaking. We have to keep in mind, though, that when you change something in math at the kindergarten level, it has it an impact all the way to the 12th yeah. grade. Can't let you go uh, without asking about this uh, recently released report that says that uh, charter schools get more bang for the buck than public schools across the country and uh, also in North Carolina. What's your response to that? Well, um, I have, we need to look at what is meant by bang for the buck and what is calculated in, the, in that report. There are other reports that will say that our charter schools mirror our public schools. We have some great charter schools in our state. We have some great other uh, public schools in our state. We have charter schools and public schools both needing improvement. So I see the charter movement as a part of public education and I just am hoping that one day that we will not continue to make comparisons but we will say we want all of our schools to be successful. June, that was a delightful answer but you didn't answer my question. <laughs> what do you think about this study? <laughs> I think that the study is uh, did not necessarily follow good research processes. And I also think that there are other studies on the other side which say that they are not, I mean, they are not as effective. So we have to continue to do research. Thank you for being with us, June Atkinson. Thank you for watching NC Spend Perspective or videos all during the week on ncspend.com.